Hi everyone, my name is Simon O'Brien and welcome to my Season 2 premiere of my Who Will Win series and it's going to be Lara Croft from Tomb Raider versus Jill Valentine from Resident Evil. Now, first things first, I'll be going into the bait stats for both Jill and Lara and I'll also go into their weapons and skills and feats and then finally who I personally think is going to win. Now, on a fourth right, as of this episode, uh, Who Will Win is now going to be a bit shorter than regular uh, episodes because Number one, I just felt like some of my previous uh, episodes are a bit too long, like 30 minutes, or, <laughs> or there's that. So I'll try and make the, the um, episodes about 15 minutes at most. So most of the info will be now quick and cleaner and all that. So there you go. So anyways, let's get started. Now, first things first, um, let's go to Lara Croft. Now, Lara's strength feats are pretty interesting. Uh, mainly, she uses her hook, but like the grappling hook, but I'll get into that later on. But in terms of physical strength, Lara is very strong. Like she can punch down uh, men and uh, large animals and all that, even yetis and sometimes dinosaurs, which is really good, uh, really powerful. But, and then we go into Jill Valentine. Uh, she has punched away some zombies and uh, BOWs and uh, Nemesis once tried grabbing Jill, but sometimes she breaks free from his grip. And Nemesis like a super B.O.W. and all that, so yeah, very impressive stuff. And uh, well, overall though, in terms of physical strength, I actually personally believe that Lara Croft has this in the bag pretty easily actually. Although it's not too one-sided, so I would say that the strength um, edge goes to Lara, but it's like a 40% more strength level in her favour. So there's that. Now, as for speed, uh, both of them... Both Lara and Jill are very fast, although I'd say Lara still edges out Jill here because of uh, she has more speed feats, like say, as uh, dodging beam attacks from enemies, and uh, one time she dodged attacks from uh, a god in uh, her own games, which is really impressive actually, that's like almost FDL in speed, although Lara is not actually faster than Lara, it's just that she does dodge uh, sunbeam attacks, but sometimes they go on and like boss level stuff and all like generic boss fights when they go from one direction to another in a very slow position it is like a beam attack though so that's worth mentioning although Lara has dodged lightning casually so yeah basically Lara is at least lightning level if you low ball her or a bit above lightning level whereas for Jill she's mainly supersonic or hypersonic when she dodged uh, laser attacks oh wait, laser attacks uh, laser traps and uh Bullets, she can even dodge bullets as well, so Jill's very fast. It's just that Lara does the same thing a little bit more, and more feeds for Lara for speed, so i say Lara has the speed edge here as well. But then we get into durability. Now, this is interesting here, because um, Lara and Jill both are almost identical in terms of durability. Uh, well, Jill does wear uh, bulletproof vests to protect her from gunshots, and um, she even sometimes wears melee vests. Now, in Resident Evil, sometimes uh, you get two types of vests and you know, or you can wear them at the same time like uh, Chris Redfield can wear a melee vest and a bulletproof vest so there is no reason to believe I have reason to believe that uh, Jill can wear, do the same thing so she is pretty resistant to um attacks for the most part although Lara does win here still because she does not endure like bullets and uh, monster attacks but also magic as well and uh yeah uh magic does defy laws of physics so so there's that so uh, already, I think Lara already has the uh, stats trinity in her favor. But then we go into weapons. Now, um, this is another good category here because um, both Lara and Jill have virtually similar weapons. Although, um, I'll just go with Jill first. She has her handguns, shotguns, assault rifles, a grenade launcher that uses a different types of ammo, which is really cool. Um, one of them being freeze uh, ammo, which allows her to freeze her opponents and all that, but, and even shatter them and incendiary ammo to make them burn. So yeah, really versatile, this grenade launcher. And um, also Jill has submachine guns, and uh, she also has this uh, Genesis device that allows her to analyze her opponent. And she, if she reaches 100% data, she gets a green herb, which I'll get into later on. But Lara also has all of this, and much, much more though. So she has her twin pistols that actually are Mark two to five, or they're basically like when you shoot them, they look like rail guns. Or like really, really fast bullets, or possibly faster than rail guns actually, because they can match the uh, speed of a sunlight. So, yeah, this is pretty cool stuff for Laura. She also has her shotguns, assault rifles, like with Jill Valentine. Although her best weapon, in my opinion, is the bow. Now, 
In the reboot series of La of Tomb Raider, um, Lara has this bow, and she has different types of bows, but for the most part, they all function the same way. Although there's one bow that actually causes hallucinations to her victims, like she they drive them crazy and all that. But then other stuff for her bow is like fire ammo and uh, explosive ammo and poison ammo. Now the poison here in uh, the bow is actually really devastating. It can actually kill about ten people at once, like. In the mere seconds, and the poison's incurable, so... Yeah, this is really deadly stuff. Um, Lara has a lot of versatility with her weapons as well. She can modify her pistols with better fire rates, and uh, modify her shotgun with an incendiary um, attack. And her... Uh, yeah, her assault rifles are also versatile too. They can have a silencer and a grenade launcher too, so there's that. So, edge goes to Lara in terms of weapons, and even if you go for melee stuff, I mean, it, it still is goes in favour of Lara. She has a climbing axe that she can use for melee combat, she can use two of them. Whereas Jill, she uses a knife, which is really good, it breaks free from enemies and zombies and all that. Although, sometimes the knives break apart when you, uh, when she grabs them, so even when she uses them, they break apart after she uses the uh, knife against a zombie and all that, so... The durability it, for the knives are pretty poor. It's just like a one-shot thing and that's it. But although uh, Jill is still versatile with her weapons, it's just that Lara just has more versatility in her side. So weapons goes to Lara, but it's still a pretty close comparison. But there is that. And now we go to skills. Um, Jill Valentine is a really well-trained fighter. Uh, she is a, one of the members of the uh, STARS program, although she became more, more independent over time. And... Uh, she is comparable to Chris Redfield, who's a skilled marksman, and Leon S. Kennedy, which is another skilled marksman, a, a pretty badass one at that. And, uh, yeah, uh, Jill is pretty versatile with her skills, and even she has nice acrobatic skills. She can target pressure points for her opponents, zombies and all that, even twist heads and all. So, yeah, pretty badass stuff Jill is. But, uh, unfortunately, I think Lara Croft actually does the same thing, and much, much more. And um, she is basically trained by the best of the best in the world, like she has far superior uh, martial arts skills and all that. And uh, she also has uh, a lot of degrees in uh, martial arts too, like she's a black belt at everything really, basically. And also swordsmanship is good with Lara too, she's really good with swords and all that. Even though she doesn't use them a lot, but uh, yeah, Lara Crafts is still a skilled swordsman and a weapons master as well, overall, so there's that. And uh, yeah, obviously Lara's a really Superb marksman. She almost never misses a shot, like in gameplay wise. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So skills goes to Lara, and uh, personally, um, I actually do think that Lara Croft actually would win this matchup. Although this is not particularly one sided. It's still close, even though most of the categories are in favor of Lara. It's not like a huge gap, like say this much. It's like very close, like this much. But um, it's just that Jild has right. Lara Croft has and much more, like the, the weapons that Jill has, is, the most versatile thing she has is a grenade launcher with the more ammo and all that, but Lara Croft's weapons can just be more versatile than that anyway, like the bow, it's like, it changes everything here, like Lara Croft's bow is basically like one shot to Jill and she's dead, even with the bulletproof vest thing, uh, it's just that the bow can actually go through armor sometimes, like even if it doesn't penetrate it, uh, Lara can just use an explosive bow and just blow Jill Valentine to smithereens, or use a poison arrow and make Jill suffocate to death. So, there's that. And uh, it's just that, with regards to feats, like, Jill has survived the um, Arclay Mansion incident, survived the Nemesis program stuff, and uh, actually defeated Jill, um, not Jill, uh, Sheva and Chris Redfield in... Um, Resident Evil 5, or look, actually just beat them for a bit, and uh, yeah, they're still, it's still pretty good, but eventually in that same encounter, she did lose a fight though, but she was possessed and all that, but speaking of possession things, even if you include Jill Valentine's possession form, Lyle has fought way more powerful foes anyway, so there's that, and uh, with regards to Lyle, she has saved uh, the world from the total annihilation, like a nuclear blast or something like that, or like an end of the world um, Armageddon and all that. She has also um, survived uh, numerous encounters with animals, giant bears, and uh, even defeated the Deathless, which are immortal, and uh, also fallen samurai, they were like undead and all that. Even Lara has defeated uh, a Mayan sun god and all that, so yeah. Uh, Basically, in terms of feats, Lara just does way more stuff, and more impressive stuff in the end, so there you go. 
So, in my honest opinion, the winner of this matchup is Lara Croft. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I actually enjoyed this matchup. This is actually a pretty good matchup, even though it's not really close, but it's it's still uh, like close enough to make it a, a debatable fight. Like, I can see Jill winning this fight in some ways. Like, I will be honest, although I think Jill does have a chance that she uses her um, Genesis device against Lara, like 100%, and then Green Herb, and she might have like a, a comeback potential. It's just. The thing is, Jill has fought foes that are more powerful than her anyway, but uh, it's just that Lara has more things going for her, like stats, weapons, and skills. So there's that. So there you go.